top. Put in a line at the top. So for my hip line, I'm going to be using a measurement of nine inches. And I'm going to make a mark right there, okay? So next up, I will be measuring my crotch line. Now this pant is starting from the waistline and my crotch line will be, I'm going to use 12 inches for my crotch because I don't want it to be too tight. I want her to have some ease of movement to be able to move her legs around without it being too tight. So I'm going to include in a sewing allowance as well. Now, next up, the hip measurement that I'm using roundabout is 44. Now, 44 divided in, in by four is, what is that? <laughs> I think that's um, 10, 11, 11, yes, 11. So that'll be 11 inches. So I'm going to take my tape and put a line right here for 11 inches, okay? All right, now, don't forget to always add in one inch or half an inch for your sewing allowance, just so you have extra, okay? 11 inches is what we're working with so far, all right? Now, next up, we want to just, to, to, um, to figure out what the hip, I mean the thighs, what the thighs will be all around. I'm currently working with a thigh of 30, inches around so i'm going to go a bit down and divide 30 by 2 and that will be 15 inches so what i want to do is measure out 15 inches again i'm putting a mark right here for 15 in addition to my sewing allowance that will be 16 okay all right so you want to make your line all the way down Next up, I need to figure out my waist measurements, okay? The waist measurement as well is going to be 34. So I'm going to divide 34 into two, that is 17 plus one. I mean, sorry, plus two, that will be 18 for 36, okay? So I'm going to put a, a mark for 18 divided by two, that is nine. So we put that line up top right here. So what we want to do is connect the lines, okay? You want to connect your lines all the way down. Connect to get your... All right, so this is what I have so far before cutting out the fabric pattern, okay? As you can see, you already see the waistline, the hip line, the crutch line, and all the way down. Now, depending on how big you want the bottom of your pants to be, you can either make it smaller or make it wider. For me, I'm going to leave it just like this and then cut it out. All right, so this is what I have for the pattern that I just finished cutting out. And this is the front and the back. And I'm going to use the same pattern to cut the other two sides. Also, when I connect it, I will be sewing the crutch this way. Okay, in the middle, right there. All right, so I just finished connecting the middle part. Now I also have the other piece that I just finished sewing together. So what I'm going to do is open this up and then go right in the middle and join the two together from the from the bottom of the crutch the middle crutch so i am going to connect it in the middle together like so and sew it all the way down on both sides Right around. Okay, so here we have the pants. Okay, now I am going to hem the bottom and make the top to make it into a jumpsuit, and that will be my second 
half of the video but in terms of how to get you a nice fit of pants this is it okay thank you for watching